So today I'm going to be showing you how to configure ESLint in our Nux project. So first, um, let's create a new project. Open the terminal. Then npx noxy latest init and then the um, project name. So in our case, it's um, ESLint. Okay. And then select npm. So once it is done, um, let's see the our project. So cd is lint. Okay, and then let's open up our VS code. So code, then the enter. Okay, so our um, Nux project is created. Um, next, um, let's install the package. So we're using the Nux package. So as you can see, it has um, 200,000 weekly downloads, so it's very popular. So let's copy this one. And then in our VS code, open the terminal. And then npm, i, and then dev dependency, and then the is link. Okay. Okay, so once that's done, let's check our package.json. And as you can see it here, um, it's installed. So next, um, let's create a new file. Name it um, dot .islint rc, okay? And then inside the file, extends, and then um, let's copy the um, nux islint config TypeScript. So copy, and then paste, okay? And then npm run dev, okay? And normally it should work. And let's actually test it. So in our app.view, let's generate the view template. Why is it not working? Okay. So const test ref hello world. Okay. Um, I'm not sure why it's not working. Oh, it's still configuring. So uh, let's wait for it. Okay, I'm not sure why it's taking too long to um, configure that, but it's working as you can see it here. Um, the um, TypeScript is working, or the Islint is working. And if we um, create a new components, so components, and then <clears throat> test that view. So normally, um, this is um, this is invalid. So as you can see, it should be a multi-word uh, component names. So yeah, um, it's working. That's how you configure ESLint in our Nux project. This is just a continuation of the previous video. Um, we successfully configure ESLint configuration, but just in case you encountered an error like this. So if I install, um, let's try to um, install again this one. So npm i d and then ESLint. Okay. Okay, um, once it is done, um, let's create a new file again. So, dot islint rc. Okay, and then let's copy this. And then go back to the file. Extends. Just like that. And then npm run dev. Okay, and then in our app.view, let's... Um, Test it, so const, const, test, ref, hello world. Okay, um, just in case it's not working, um, you need to go to the package.json, and then um, lint, and then islint, and then the dot. And then terminate our um, terminal, and then npm run lint. Okay, and as you can see, it's validating, so that means it's working, but it is still not showing um, in our um, editor. So we might wa uh, we might restart the VS Code. So reload window, and then let's wait for a couple of seconds. Actually, let's npm run dev. Okay.
Let's wait for a few seconds. And yep, as you can see, it's working back again. So um, just a little debugging. So you might want to um, re reload your VS code just in case you encountered an error like this or an issue like this. So if you have any questions, let me know in the comments below.